everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming at you with a daiso haul i have not done a daiso haul yet on my channel which i don't know why because i do shop there i wouldn't say regularly but i like to go in there especially browsing and then i end up getting a whole heap of stuff maybe stuff that i don't really need but things that i just find interesting um, and things i didn't even think i needed but i actually did need Anyways, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to be showing you a Daiso haul today. I've got a variety of things here. I've got some, um, I've got some kitchen things, some organization things, um, what else? Some kid related things, a whole heap of variety of things. So make sure you stay tuned until the very end so you can see everything that I have purchased. And if you do like these sort of videos, please do give me a big thumbs up. It will really make my day and help out my channel a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that red subscribe button down below. Anyways, with all that said, let's roll into this video. So the first thing I'm going to show you is some kitchen items that I've picked up. Now, this is the reason I actually went to Daiso, um, because my kids just needed some new plates. First thing is this divided plate that I got my son. It's really, really nice. Um, this is actually made from bamboo and this has like a blue checkered style pattern on there. So it's got three divided sections, a big one here, a medium size there and then a small one here. I love serving food on these divided plates. I know my son is five years old now and he could technically eat from a normal plate, but I just find it really fun to serve up food like this and just make it fun and interesting for the kids. Sometimes I use a little food picks, which I'll actually show you some of those very, very soon. Um, but I just like to jazz it up and make their food fun um, and it just gets them excited for each and every meal. So I picked up this bowl, or not bowl, I picked up this plate for my son and I actually found a normal plate as well with the same design. So I picked him up one of these two and then I also found him a bowl that had the same design yet again. So I did actually need the bowl and plate but when I saw that it came in a set, um, I thought that was really, really cool so I picked up all three. And of course, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I also have a daughter. So I had to pick her up a girly version of these plates. So this is what hers look like. So it's exactly the same, but in pink. Um, so this is the divider plate and this is the plate that I got her as well. I actually couldn't find the bowl in this design unfortunately. They may have just been out of stock so I'll definitely go back and keep checking um, and pick one up for her as well. But I just ended up picking up these two instead because they didn't have the bowl um, in the store that I was in. Right, the next thing I got is just some little things for my daughter. We are about to start toilet training so I, I've been browsing around and picking up little um, um, I guess prize things that I can give to her just to help her motivate um, her to keep toilet training and to do well and to enjoy it and have fun so I just picked her up this foldable comb and she's really into princesses lately so this one actually has a picture of Ariel and it's got the word Ariel there as well and it's foldable so this is actually really good for traveling or just throw in your handbag. Next thing I've got her is some flower hair clips. I'm always looking for different hair clips for her. She has so many but I just love buying little accessories for her hair. So this is the one I picked up for her. They're super cute. They've got little pearls on them as well and yeah I just thought they were really really cute for her hair. And another thing I got for her as a prize for going toilet training or going to the toilet is these, what's it called? These fluorescent pen lipsticks. She's a very, very much a girly girl and she loves anything makeup related. So I picked her up these. These are really cool because it looks like lipsticks, but they're actually pens. Um, and she is really into drawing and writing and all that sort of stuff. So I picked her up these three lipstick pens which I thought were really, really cool. The next thing I got my daughter are these little bauble hair ties. I used to have these when I was a little girl and I think they're super cute. Um, I'm not sure if her hair's long or thick enough to wear these, but I'll give them a go anyways. And if it's not, then I can always keep it for her for 
for when it is long enough to tie them in these little baubles because you do have to have a good amount of hair to get this around it um, around the hair so but yeah I just picked these ones up too because I just thought they were really cute the next thing I got is just a bunch of stickers. You can never go wrong with stickers for kids, especially when you're using them as rewards or in a rewards chart, or even just to keep them busy on the go or traveling. So I picked up three packs, like I said. So the first one is this princess one. Obviously these are for Adriana because um, these will be used for her um, toilet training chart. So these are princess ones here. I'll just show you quickly inside, like that. And I also got her the fairies one. She's really into fairies as well. That's what they look like. And the last one I got her is cat. She loves any animals, especially cats. So that's what that one looks like. So yeah, each of these were $2.70. Um, and a great little thing that you can throw into any travel bag as well. Next thing I got is some of those... <laughs> How long have you been sitting here? I didn't even know that Fiona was sitting behind me. If you don't know, we're actually babysitting this little kitty at the moment. Um, and yeah, only for six weeks and then we have to return her back to Ona. But this is Fiona. Wanna say hi to camera? She just wants to sit close to me. So I'll just sit her down here on the couch. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is just some food picks that I got for the kids. It's something just to jazz up their meals or even their lunch boxes when we're out and about. They get super excited when they see them on their plates. First set of picks I got are these princess ones here. That look like that. The next ones I got are just animals. So there's like bears, pigs, um, pandas, frogs, elephants, and all sorts of different animals for this one. They're super cute and this one can be very gender neutral as well so if you've got a boy or girl these will be suitable and the last one i got is just some sea creatures so these are whales and dolphins the next thing i got is just a bunch of magnets um i just need some extra magnets for our fridge so i just got these clear ones here and i think these hold really really well the next thing I got is actually for my son Christopher for next year when he goes off to big school. I'll have to start packing his lunch. So I found this um, sandwich, what's it called? Elastic band for a lunchbox. So I thought this was super cute and just another way to jazz up his lunchbox and just make it exciting for him. This is not a requirement whatsoever, but I just thought it was cute and just something extra to add. Because why not when you're browsing dice so you just grab things um, that you didn't actually think you needed, but you end up getting them anyway. This is what this one looks like. It has a police car star picture on the middle and it's just a red band and they show you a picture here of what it looks like when it's around the lunchbox so yeah it just keeps it closed and decorates the lunchbox so i got him one of those the next thing i got is just a divided plate here i just got this to serve up some small snacks for the kids in between meals so you can put like raisins in here little crackers in there um, some fruit or whatever you want and just have them divided up i just find kids really enjoy having their food all in different sections it just makes it cute and fun and some kids just don't like their food getting mixed up um, together so i just thought this would be a cute um, way to serve up some snacks the next thing i got is pretty random but something that we actually did need so my son ever since he was really young i would say about 18 months got terrified going to a hairdresser to get his hair cut they actually used the clippers on the back of his neck and nipped him a little bit and ever since then he's had a, like a phobia of going to the hairdresser we've tried so many different ways to get him to the hairdresser um but it always tends to fail so i ended up just going onto youtube and learning how to cut boys hair and i've been actually cutting his hair ever since he was really really young but anyways that's just to explain the item that i've got here um so i picked up this apron for cutting hair so this is a child size apron so that's really handy i just think this will really be helpful when i do cut his hair at home to stop the hair going everywhere um i tend to just use a towel at the moment but it does stick to the towel material so i just thought this would be a better solution for when i do cut his hair at home 
So the next two things are just some organization things that I've been on the lookout for just to organize my daughter's Barbie accessories and clothes. At the moment we just have them in a little container and we just put all the shoes and bags and all that stuff that she had for her Barbies but it's not a great system so I went on the lookout for some other storage solution for that problem and this is what I came up with. So the first thing I got is this section case here. I thought this would come in handy to separate all the Barbie shoes and little bags and just little items that do tend to get lost quite easily. Um, so I just thought this would be a great solution for that. I haven't opened this one as yet, so I do think these dividers um, can be removed so you can change the size of them, which is really, really handy. But I think this will work really, really well. I hope it will because I just keep finding Barbie shoes all over her floor and we are losing them. So. I needed a solution, I hope this is the answer to that. The next thing I got is something a bit bigger just to store the Barbie's extra clothes that they've got. And it's this, um, oops. And it's this uh, clear acrylic case. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's got three drawers that come out like that. So I think this is a pretty good size for Barbie clothes. You could probably fit a couple of outfits per drawer, but I thought this was, again, a cute way um, and uh, a needle way to store all the Barbie clothes and things like that. So I'll hopefully this will work. This was actually $3.80. But yeah, I hope these two items will do the trick um, for organizing her Barbie accessories and clothes. I got is a very random and something that I picked up actually on the checkout and I can only find one of them I did buy two of these but the kids have already opened them and started playing with them um, but it's these little squishy kind of like stress balls but for kids um, this one's a unicorn one like so if it focuses there we go this is a unicorn and so when you squeeze it you get all these colorful balls coming through these big holes so this one's my daughter's, I can't find Christopher's, his is just a smiley face, um, but it's obviously got holes all over it as well. And yeah, I just find that these really, really fun to play with. And actually therapeutic as well, because it's like a stress ball. Anyways. That's the end of my haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more, and I'll see you in my next video. See you everyone. Bye.